I walked in to a closet that had a toilet in it. I have all of my stuff in my restroom, but I go into his to shower. Um, and I brush my teeth in her bathroom. To have to switch into each other's restroom is old. Connor and Cindy, bathrooms, bidets, and a bold statement wall. This mid-century remodel was really fun because it was so bad before and I love being able to take something that is not working in really any way and make it functional but also make it really beautiful. The space planning in this bathroom was tricky. It was probably the most complicated part of the process. Every single inch had to be accounted for. When you're trying to figure out your new bathroom configuration, if it's a remodel, you have to figure out what are my central focal points that I don't wanna move. We were not going to move that beautiful angled window. We needed to make it work for us. So we had to center the tub in some way under that window and then build from there. As far as the style choices, we went through a lot of iterations because I could not settle on a statement that felt bold enough for their personalities, but then fell in line with their request of black and white. They don't show this on the episode, but we called them and said, will you be okay if we do something with some color and the black and white that you requested? They gave us the go ahead and that's when I knew we were gonna do a color tile on that entire back wall to highlight the angled window and then make a bold statement out of that wall. We did these niches next to the bathtub and we actually lost a little bit of the footprint on the floor by doing that because we pulled the wall forward, but then it allowed us to create a great feature and then also gave us a more symmetrical framing around the tub. Also, it gave us the perfect little nook to float a vanity. The styling of the vanity area was an opportunity for us to infuse some mid-century character into the space and some color. I think that you could swap that vanity stool out for 10 different options over the coming years. The tile in this bathroom was a big piece of the design and we actually originally ordered this high contrast marble that had a really strong veining throughout. Well, it arrived, started taking out the pieces and only like two of the pieces looked like our sample and then the rest of them, you know, it's a natural material, they all vary and they didn't have the look that I wanted. So we sent them back and we went back to the drawing board. Mistakes or challenges often present opportunities and this is one of them. We found this terrazzo, which is perfect for a mid-century home and it's a really neutral terrazzo. So I feel like that that helps it feel less trendy. I don't love terrazzo when people are trying to make their home mid-century when it's not, but this was a mid-century home and it called for it and it was the perfect place to incorporate it. The tile on the back wall was really important to me, enough that I was willing to make some cuts in other places to be able to afford the tile going across the entire back wall for the impact that it gave. And the placement of the tile was really important. We also stacked it vertically and we didn't do a brick lay. We just did a vertical side by side and that grid feels cleaner and it feels more modern. I knew the moment we started designing this bathroom that I wanted that sculptural brass floral sconce to go between the mirrors. That was it. I knew it. We had to get it. We started there and I love the interest that it brings to all the clean lines surrounding it, like on the vanity and the mirrors. And then we needed a statement over the tub, but we had a slope ceiling, which is limiting as far as light fixtures go. We found this mid-century light that felt very cosmic and 
very Cindy, and so we really leaned into her tastes for the light fixtures. This coming year, we are wrapping up a lot of our high-end luxury custom home projects that you don't typically get to see on the show, but we will be taking you on tours and I'm so excited to just open the doors to these homes and answer your questions. And so we wanna hear from you, what you wanna see, what you wanna learn, so stay tuned.